in the occupation in all its forms and all of its manifestations. And to call it what it is, it's a land grab. To call it what it is, it's a culture theft. It's a land grab. To call it what it is, I was in Palestine in January, and we took an all-black delegation to Palestine. And one thing that happened was that everybody instantly recognized what was going on in Palestine. What was going on was reminiscent of Jim Crow here in the 40s and the 30s and the 50s and the 60s. It's the same old paradigm of race and racism. Let nobody say anything different. It is a paradigm of racism that dehumanizes people and destroys history and culture and uproot olive trees and impose curfews and therefore somebody who comes from anywhere in the world think that they got more rights than somebody who's indigenous to the land. And they're gonna stand up and they're gonna say and remind this White House, this White House, that you can't stand on being moral and justice and keep your mouth shut. You know, everybody's surprised about three Jewish kids being killed. Why should you be surprised? Why should you be surprised if you have been down in Hebron and any of the occupied territories? You see the dehumanization that goes on. You see the degradation that goes on every single day. That you can be picked up at will, at a whim. Because of arbitrary reasons, you can be held and detained and tortured and beaten. And you have no rights in order to stand up. And so I'm not trying to justify murder in any way. But I'm saying, how long can you continue to try to crush people and not expect people to stand up? It doesn't have to be anything that is organized. I remember this story. This was years ago, yes, sir. and I was in the Soviet Union before it fell. And I was in a hotel room lobby one night, and a brother called me over who was Palestinian, who was studying at Patrice Lumumba University in Moscow. And we called folks together, he called all the other Palestinian students that were studying in Moscow. And we had a conference, an impromptu conference that night in the hotel lobby. And my delegation came in that were made up of clergy, Christian clergy, all of them white. I'm the only one that's black. And they asked the Palestinian, who are they? And they introduced themselves. And you get back to the brother who invited me, and the guy looks at him, the Palestinian looks at a Lutheran minister and says, so you're a terrorist. And the Lutheran minister turned all red in the face and he says, I'm not a terrorist. He says, I'm an American. And the guy reminded him that it was American bombs that killed his mother and sister in Lebanon. So you know, when we start throwing around the word terrorism, it's whose end are you standing on? Whose end are you on? When all of the bombs come at you, when all of the laws are against you, when all of the media seems not to lift up your story, that is terrorism. The fact is America practiced terrorism and enables Israel to practice terrorism. And we stand up against terroristic acts and we demand the end of occupation to support the BDS movement. Economic support Woo! and bring down this beast and allow Woo! this beast to begin to become vulnerable and humbled in this process. Let's continue to struggle. Let's understand that we're going to continue to have to be out here day after day and speak out and not sit down because as long as people refuse to hear the truth, it's on us to declare the truth. Declare the truth. Declare the truth. End the occupation. Declare the truth. Amen. Thank you for allowing me to be here.